Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very impromptu video, I would say. As you can see, I've only done my base makeup and that's only because I really wanted to show you what I use in my custom palette that I use in my everyday life. And it has some great variety too. I have my bronzer, blush, all my eyeshadows, the looks that I'm craving for this like summer months. So if you're interested to see what is in my custom palette, then please keep on watching. Okay, before we do anything, let me just tell you what is on my face, the base that I've used. I basically have my Else Putty Primer. As my primer, I have my Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. I have my Milani Concealer underneath my eyes and I've dusted everything off with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Finish Powder. That is it. That's what I have for my brows. I have my Benefits, precisely my brow. And this is in the shade 3.5. Uh, in the Wet n Wild one, I was in the shade Desert Beige. So let's dive right into the shades that I have chosen for this palette. Of course, this is an Ofra palette. It's an Ofra face palette that I purchased way back, like two years before. But I keep customizing this palette because I feel like this is perfect amount and the number of shades that I really need for like different, different tones. And I keep changing this palette like every month, I would say, depending on what tones and what shades I'm craving. This is like my summer custom palette. So yeah, I have a mix of a lot of like brands also in it. Of course, I have three products from Ofra here and the bronzer, the highlighter and the blush. The bronzer is in the shade Versatile Matte. The highlighter that you see is in the shade All of the Lights. And the blush that you see is in the shade Satin Pink. So that is what we have. And the original palette, I'll pop a picture on the screen for you guys just to like make you realize what the original palette looked like. And I basically customized this with my Sydney Grace, Luxie Beauty eyeshadows, JD Glow eyeshadows, everything all together, you know, <laughs> just to make it my own. So actually let's apply it on our skin because we do not have much things on our skin. So let's first start off with the bronzer. And this is a pretty deep bronzer. So as you can see, I do not have like a true, true brown shade in the palette. And that's just because if I want, I can apply this in the crease or I can deepen it up to if I'm like looking for like everyday brown shade, that is good enough for me to give that brown for me. And if I have to like intensify it, I can definitely use this shade. But this is a more of a plummy brown more of like a maroon shade, I would say. But you can definitely pull it more brown if you pair it with a brown. So first we're gonna dust off the bronzer and you can see it bronzes up my skin really, really well. You have to ignore my natural hair, okay? <laughs> I did not have time to do anything to my hair for that matter. So it just like air dried after my shower and I applied some base makeup and then I had my whole day just with my base makeup on attending all my meetings. Yeah, <laughs> so you have to completely excuse that. Okay, now let's move on to the blush and I intentionally want to put this like more of like a cool tone pinky shade. Can you see? A more of a cool tone pinky shade just because if I want like a more of a neutral pinky tone I can definitely dip into this eyeshadow from Sydney Grace and I can get a very mauve look but this for a cool tone look would be absolutely lovely this for like a warm tone looks that would also really can be like paired up well now I won't lie I generally do keep like a neutral palette along with this always in my stash for like every day and my palette of the choice is generally Hindash's Beautopsy palette and this does a lot for me too. If you have not seen this before, I can definitely pair like one of these shades as a blush. I can apply this mixed up with like the center shade of this as my brow shade and I can definitely, definitely do any of like the blending portion or like the setting powder underneath the eye powder with this. So this is a very, very versatile palette in my collection. I, I generally use this a lot and it's very, very user friendly palette in my opinion. Let me know if you wanna see like palettes from my collection that can do multiple things apart from just like eyeshadows. So I can definitely film it for you guys. And that Beautopsy palette is definitely one of that. Now, once we have those bronzer and blush, let's move on to the highlighter. And I generally, based on the look what I'm going, I generally just dip into these shades. And Ofra palettes do have like great highlighters. And that can do my highlighting job. I don't have anything to do 
after this I just need to go to my son's school and just pick him up and I'm getting ready for that <laughs> so that's how the complexion is looking so far and I can of course do this on the eyelids too and that is why you don't see a lot of like golden like a uh, champagne shades because I can definitely apply this as my brow bone shade my inner corner shade as my lid shade because it does have a lot of tones you can see a pinky tone a off-white a bronzy tone a golden tone so that definitely covers a lot of lot of angles for us now let's move on to the eyes i think i should do two looks right i think i should do two looks so let's do let's do a thing let's do a brown in the crease so that i can show you how that brown looks as a crease shade and you can see like how beautifully because it's a bronzer it just blends in so so nicely and i'm going to apply the same thing on my lower lash line too lovely i'm gonna take this mauvey shade and this is called adore me from sydney grace can you even see that it's this shade it appears to be a little more darker in the pan but when you apply it you can definitely see like a more of like a rosy tone and this is more i would say like a warmer pinky brown shade like I love to apply this like all over my lid and walk out of the door like this is like a single one and done shade for me. So as you can see that gives more of a rosy tint. I did not even change the brush. I don't know why did I not do that. Okay. Anyways. Probably has a little bit more brown in it. That's a beautiful rosy brown shade. I'm going to take the same thing on my lower lash line. And let's say if you are more on the lighter spectrum in like the skin tone than me, you can definitely use that blush shade, the pink shade as like blending out shade. So just take that and blend out the edges, you know, just like that. And that will give you like a seamless blend. Nonetheless, I mean, Sydney Grace eyeshadows are really, really lovely by themselves. So you don't need like much of blending to be done here. Now, once that is done, let's take another brush and take this eyeshadow. And this is called Choco Raspberry Fudge, also from Sydney Grace. And I'm going to apply it on both the sides. And you would see like how beautifully it blends into like pinky tones as well as brown tones. And that's the main reason why I have this shade because it is such a beautiful tone to have in the palette. It's just stunning. I'm gonna apply the same thing on the lower lash line, but only in the outer corners, just like that. And now I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush and let's take this shade, the black shade out of the palette. I always like put a custom black shade, just if I want to intensify something. I can do that and in this case we're gonna attack that on the brown side just like that and see how that a little bit of black can give us so much of depth love it now I'm gonna take the same shade this one choco raspberry fudge from the Sydney Grace and I'm gonna concentrate that on the outer corners and the inner corners on this pinky side it gives more of like a raspberry tone like more of i would say like a deeper mauvey brown shade it's so so blendable and so versatile to use the shade is actually very very nice yeah i'm gonna take this shade the green shade from the palette and this is from Luxy beauty and this is called rockstar and you would see how dimensional that thing is like that eyeshadow is look at that this is stunning and i'm gonna put that on the brown side mainly focusing it in like the on like the center of the eyelid look at that now for the inner third of the eye i'm gonna take this shade again from Luxy beauty and this is called arctic rose 
don't know if you can see it or not it definitely has like a pink undertone but it has like a warm like a golden shimmer running all throughout it it is absolutely stunning so I definitely want to show it to you I'm going to take a little bit it definitely has that toppery effect to it so I'm going to take that just stamp it on the inner corners can you see that oh my god it's stunning and then just mix it out with that rock star shade and if you can see that difference or not it's truly stunning stunning absolutely stunning I'm gonna take that in my inner corners too just like that and I'm just gonna take my blending brush that I used earlier and just blend it down the edges just like that and the first eye look is done <laughs> let's move on to the second eye look what are we gonna do with this I have so much to do I cannot even yeah, let's do this let's take the shade called painted lady and I'm gonna do that can you see that like on my entire eyelid just to show you guys like how it looks and it's absolutely stunning like stunning it is I'm concentrating it like all over my eyelid just because i'll go with another shade in the center and that is going to be and this shade is called crimson rose and I'm going to apply that right in the center of my eyelid. And that melts with this blue really, really well. Although to begin with, that is like a blue purple, the Painted Lady shade. And this shade, Crimson Rose, is like more of a mauve shade, I would say. I'm going to concentrate that on the center of my eyelid. I'm going to take a blending brush and just blend the edges. I'm going to take the shade called Monarch and I'm going to do that on my inner corner of the eye. See, it's a little more of the bronzy pinky shade. Okay, I'm going to quickly finish my eyes with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. And that's my final eye looks. This, I went a little more on the warmer tone side and went a little more green gold. And on the other hand, I went a little more on the cooler tone side and I went with like a pinky, mauve purple tones. I really hope that you guys enjoyed both these looks that I created for you guys. Now let's move on to the swatches because I feel like swatches would definitely help you. Let's start off with the bronzer and the highlighter first. And I don't know how much that would help, but let's do that. Definitely bronzer is a lot more warm, a little more on like a medium to deep side. So that's the bronzer. Definitely I had to build it up because it's a bronzer, it's not an eyeshadow. But nonetheless, super, such a nice tone for like medium tan skin. Really, really enjoy that. And then for the highlighter, all of the lights highlighter, I'm just going to mix everything together just to show you the tone but you can definitely concentrate it individually too and that's the highlighter and now let's move on to the blush and this blush is called pink satin more of like a punchy cool tone barbie pink shade and that is the blush Okay, now let's move on to these three eyeshadows. All of these three shades are from JD Glow. So let's do that. Uh, first, I'm going to swatch this shade, which is called Bestie. And this is the least sparkliest shade uh, that I've chosen from JD Glow. But it is a beautiful, like, orangey shade. So I thought that would be really good, especially with, like, the purple tones. It's like an orange with, like, a golden shimmer. I hope you can see that. 
there you go the next purpley shade that i'm gonna swatch is called anomaly and this is called unexpected so let's do that anomaly is more of like a purple to a blue shifting shade and unexpected is magic so this is anomaly you can see how beautiful that is and that is anomaly and this is unexpected like absolutely stunning now i'm going to swatch the three mattes that i have in the palette and this is adore me and this is chocolate raspberry fudge and actually this black is actually from this ofra palette and this is called triple black this is adore me oh no did i swatch the black too accidentally i sure did this is choco raspberry fudge and this is triple black definitely a buildable matte and you can work really really well with this one and those are the three matte shades adore me choco raspberry fudge and triple black now let's move on to the luxy beauty eyeshadows oh my god i cannot i absolutely cannot i've been loving loving these eyeshadows so let's begin the first one that we're going to swatch is called the monarch and this is like my perfect like bronzy tone eyeshadow i would say second we have painted lady which is more of like a blue but it also has purple in it and then we have rockstar which is like a olive green tone so that's monarch Look how stunning that is. Then we have Painted Lady. And then we have a rock star. Let's do the last two also. This is Arctic Rose and this is Crimson Rose. So let's do that. Such a stunning shade. So that's Arctic Rose. And this is Crimson Rose. And those are the shimmers in this palette so going from top to bottom we have monarch a beautiful bronzy tone shade and then we have painted lady which is more of like a denim blue with like a purple tone and then we have rockstar which is that olive tone green shade and then we have arctic rose which has like that rosy base but it has, has like a strong yellow gold to it too even green i would say and this is crimson rose which is more of like that taupey purple shade and that is the whole palette swatched for you guys let me know in the comment section below how do you like this palette do you really like it are you not into these tones would you exchange it for some other shade and i keep exchanging especially the eye shadows even the blushes for that matter the only constant in this palette i would say is this highlighter and this bronzer but otherwise everything else keeps on changing would you like to see a different version in the coming months too do leave it down in the comment section below but if you did like this video do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring the notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys